Okay, folks, today we're going to demonstrate how to set up our Proox Air with the optional chlorine side tank. Okay, so this is how your uh, unit is delivered. You have your media tank, your side chlorine tank, your control valve and gravel, your chem sorb, and your other Proox. Okay, so we've got everything unboxed. Uh, we have our media tank with the D tube, our chlorine tank, our Proox media, and this is a small bag of Proox, chem sorb and gravel, our control valve, our bypass valve, our spare seal kit, the one inch adapters, power supply, instruction manual, and gravel funnels. You can also purchase one inch flex lines and an air gap for your assembly. So one of the things we want to double check uh, before we put our D2 down into the uh, media tank is to make sure that uh, these, uh, this bottom screen did not vibrate loose uh, during transportation. So just kind of give it a good grab and make sure it doesn't, it's not loose prior to the installation. Okay, so we've got everything unpacked. We're getting ready to set up our media tank. Uh, you may have noticed we do have an inlet and outlet shutoff valve and a hose bib sampling valve installed now as well as an inlet and outlet one inch uh, pipe fittings. So the first thing we're going to do is put the D-tube into the tank. The basket end here goes to the bottom. And what you want to make sure of is when you put this in that the tube is flush with the top of the cylinder here. And as you can see right now, it's off to the side. An easy trick to do is just spin that tube and you can see it finds its center and it drops down in. So now we're going to install our funnel to allow us to put the media in. There, there are basically two type funnels. There is a blue funnel and there is a black funnel. Now the black funnel has this cap that covers the D-tube so you don't get any media down the inside of the D-tube. So if you have the black, you just basically put, put it on like this, then it covers it. Now if you have the blue tube, you're going to need to put a piece of tape over the D-tube before you install the uh, media to keep, to keep the media from going down. You do want to make sure you put a buddy tab on that tape before you install it because once you're filled, you're going to need to be able to remove that <clears throat> without pulling the deep tube up out of the media uh, because of, that's just a whole another problem if that happens. So um, make sure uh, it's easy to get off without pulling the D tube up. So for this demo we're going to go ahead and use the black funnel. And we're going to go ahead and get that installed like that. So the first thing is you want to put your gravel in. So each these bags of gravel, the Proox and the Chemsorb, all have different sizes depending on the tank sizes and they're all pre-measured for you so you don't need to worry about that. So you're going to go ahead and pour the gravel in there and basically what that will do is cover the bottom of that D2 basket. Once you've installed the gravel, you'll install the Proox manganese. This is uh, going to be your main media. Uh, once you do that, depending on how many bags you have, and this is the same thing in a clear bag, the, the rest of it. Uh, once you get that installed, you're going to top it off with your chem sorb, and this is what the chem sorb looks like. Okay, so once you've got all your media in, again, you're going to be about somewhere in this area of the media. You're all good to go. You're going to go ahead and remove your funnel, and then you'll have your D-tube there with your media installed. 